So in this little video we're going to revisit the hot dog zine I did a while back. Remember that little single sheet of paper eight panel hot dog zine? That was done in Publisher a little while back. If you can't find it go and have a look in the Publisher uh, playlist and there it'll be. Look for hot dog zine. Now I'm going to use Designer to create the comic panels to put into that little zine. So you can have your zine master and you can have your designer master with the panels on it and create your panels as you go. It makes it very easy to do your comics because you're doing your comics in designer which is a good place to do them because they can then be um, used elsewhere and made different sizes if you like. But for this one we're going to use designer and we're going to make the panels for the Affinity Publisher Hot Dog Zine. The original size of the zine was US letter and A4. Um, that was just a matter of readjusting the sizes. And in fact you can make the zine any size you like um, that will go through a printer. You've just got to be careful of the folds and adjust all that appropriately. So, creating comic panels for the zine in Affinity Designer is for the publisher file we did previously. The idea being you can use it time and time again. Now a hot dog zine, as you may recall, is a teeny booklet made from one sheet of printer paper and folded in such a way that it can be read like a small book. So let's make it into a comic. They're a great idea for school classes and a super way to introduce children to the fun of comic creation. Now, having a quick look back at the zine, this was in Publisher, remember, and it's only a few videos back um, at the moment, given, given this time of the year. I mean, if you come across this video five years from now, it'll be a long way back, but there we go. <laughs> okay, there's our eight panels. You'll note the top four um, are 180 degrees uh, um, spun around from the bottom four. Now the bottom four you've got the back page and the front page on the right hand side. They're slightly larger panels than the other six panels because the other six panels have the page number on the bottom. You of course can make that, you, you can set that up any way you like. But to fit the zine we've already made we're going to use the same panelling. Now here's the comic panels put into that little zine. Best of all you can do this on the iPad or the desktop. Now Publish is not available on the desktop but you can still be sitting there in the comfort of your lounge chair with your iPad with Designer and doing your creative comic work. So create your new blank and populate it with eight artboards, six of which are 2.4 inches by 3.4 inches and two of them are 2.4 inches by 3.6 inches. This, these are the size of the panels, the image panels, in your publisher document. They will fit, if you make little images there and export them as PNGs, they will fit neatly into those panels. Now you can see the panels here, and the little zine done in publisher each page has a margin for the page number on the bottom, except for the back and the front cover. So there are eight artboards, six of which are 2.4 by 3.4, and two are 2.4 by 3.6. And you can see the little, um, the little transform studio box up the top there, pointing to those last two. Now there's the last page, six of the panels, two by four as I mentioned and the cover and the back page. The top row are upside down. Of course you can design them from within Publisher and place them directly into the panels there but using Designer you can keep your design work apart from your layout work and you can see I've got the panels there in the top row they'll be upside down and the panels on the bottom row and they're all named you can see each panel, each panel artboard has a name, so you can't confuse them. And they're set out in the same order as the zine in the document. So you can keep your pages in the correct order. So you've got page, the page 8 is actually the cover, 
and above that is page 1. So that'll be just inside the front cover. Then you've got page 2, page 3, page 4, page 5, page 6, and going right around the circle, you're back to page 7, which is the back page. That may look odd, and you'll need the publisher document if you're going to print that out and have it make any sense. But you can keep them here. You can have lots of pages in Designer and lots of comics. So you could name the file, like this one's called Hot Dog Panels, but you could have it Hot Dog Panels, Comic 1, Volume 1, Issue 1, something like that. So you can keep track of them. This is just a quick look at setting up the panels for your zine. Make your, your little hot dog zine into a comic. Too easy. So, go make a comic zine. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Share the love. It's really appreciated.